more than of hope, more than of hope. You might have dragged yourself to church this morning. You might have wandered all the way to church. Why am I even going? Nothing ever changes. Here we go again. But as you're dragging yourself all the way to church, you just toss that old self at the feet of Jesus. And you say, self, you need to learn something about my God. My God is a good God. Only that dead self will tell you, why are we going to church? You just want me to die more. Yes, we want self to die more. We want self-righteousness to die more. We want selfish ambition to die more. We want anything of the self, anything that magnifies self. Because self will tell you all day long how awesome you are. Come on now. Self is such a liar. Self will lie, lie, lie. The Bible says you lie, you fry. You lie, you fry. You drag that lying self to the feet of Jesus. And you just surrender yourself over the Lord. Yeah. And you say, Holy Spirit, teach me today. Keep me teachable. Because yeah. it's just when you think you know God, just when you think you've got them all figured out, He reveals yeah. another dimension yeah. of Himself. Yeah. Because for Him to reveal it all at once would just totally trip us out. We can't handle it. We can't even handle the little bits He gives us. We really can't. But we ask him to teach us, to help us to understand the fullness of his mercy for us. Yes. It's incredible. Yes. I lift up my children name by name, face by face. I lift you up name by name and face by face when we go to petition God. And I know as intercessors, you do the same. Yes. I know when you think of somebody and their face crosses you or their name crosses you, you're going to utter a prayer yes. of God's mercy and favor and speak the blood of Jesus covers because it's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that hovers and covers. He's a hovering God. He was hovering over us this morning. Isn't that awesome? He's like that, that like a brooding hen. He's just, you know, gathering his little chicks around him. You know, that's how we are. We come and we want to feed off of him. And we need to. We are anorexic without him. Our spirit is anorexic without him. And it's beyond repair without him. So you got to drag that to the Lord. you got to drag hopelessness to the Lord. Yeah. When that devil tells you, oh, that's the prayer that's not going to get answered. Ha! The blood of Jesus already answered. Yeah. Yeah. And if I'm not going to accept that, you know, because he's a liar and the father of all lies and him there is no truth. That's right. So why do we kind of think that he might be telling us the truth this time? Come on now. There's absolutely no way ever that's going to happen. The enemy of your soul, the Bible says soul, the mind, will, the emotion. The enemy of your soul will never lead you in the right direction. He'll always entice you with stuff, vanity, flattery, all these crazy things that the God of this world wants you to believe in and of yourself. The power of the blood of Jesus just shatters it, yes, slaps yes, it right yes. out and brings you to reality. Hallelujah. That's the blood of Jesus. He just snaps you out of it. Look at the person next to you and say, snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Out of it. Out of it. God's mercy. I got good news. He might not look like he's playing the drums, but he is. He might not look like he's there, but he is. My son's on the way home. Glory. Amen. 